So here we are in this um, single track part of the R route, or riding partner, by the way, um, went down. He broke his lower leg, or hurt his lower leg. So he's off to the hospital in an ambulance. Anyway, this is this single track that I went on with Chris's clinic on Tuesday. It's part of the race. It's um, it's okay. I can do it. It's just it's fucking work. The bike rolls through a lot of it. The work is hanging on. You now Chris says standing only. I find sitting sometimes. Okay, although it's smoother up here. How are you feeling? <laughs> Michael. He's on a 1090R. Came all the way over from Ontario, shipped it to Calgary, then rode from Calgary to here. Managed to get Chris's uh, clinic in yesterday. Yep, just on. We just finished it. Some uh, forest road with ATV descents. So Michael hasn't led much. I haven't been in the back much, but I welcome it because it's his turn. Some more single track. We're on track. Anyway, Michael's an accomplished rider. What we're finding is the single track is quite um, demanding on these big bikes, so Either the bike's pushing you around, or you're pushing the bike around. So Michael's the next um, racer, and he's written a, he wrote an article in Canadian Biker Magazine about a 1200 Tenere uh, ride he did through Turkey. So I'm going to get a copy of that. Pretty neat. All right, another slick descent. But skidding's a problem too. Oh, I lost my partner. So here we are, we're just on the last few kilometers on the way back to the uh, Silver Star on our, the off-road.
Where's the cooler? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, that last bit, eh? Yeah, Yeah. So Quinton joined our team, Team 32. But I was having trouble. I almost uh, piled into uh, Michael. He, we were really giving her on a forest road, and uh, he came. He, he braked a lot better, and I was in some loose stuff, and I because that's where I was on the road, and I, I couldn't brake. I actually went in the ditch um, because I, lock, I panicked. I locked up the rear wheel in off-road in off tr uh, ABS. Yeah. Trail. And okay, a lot of frost here, guys. Just, just. Yeah, be careful. Means that's good. Michael has having a hell of a time with his GPS. And so, Christian, too, yesterday. Seems like Michael's got it now, though. Yeah, well... He just bought the thing, and so did Christian. Yeah. They just bought them, like, and they never even, Christian had never even turned it on. Because he, I guess because he worked and then he drove here and just didn't have the time, right? I didn't have enough time to do everything I wanted to do either, but. Yeah, but you've, you've used yours, you, you, yeah. you know, that, that's where they were having trouble. I don't mean to stop, but I, I'm just trying to, it's the navigating thing in me, no, trying to fine. make sure we're doing it right. I'd rather do that. Oh, look at this. I can't see shit. A photo op, anyway. Hey? Photo op. Whoa, so close. You two guys on the front wheel? I'll get on it. Oh. you're ready. I'll meet you up there. Sorry, just talking through my headset. Oh, it's nice. Like, oh, there's a route coming up. Oh, you take a turn left, turn right. Keep on it, keep on it, give it a little gas. There you go. Your peg's caught, hold on. You gotta lean it towards yourself and then do it. There you go, you're clear. And... A little more. You're good. You got the brake? Because I got nothing. Thank you. Perfect. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Ready? Yep.
Okay, Mike. You want to get on it? You want to keep going this way? Don't lean it. You gonna ride it? Well, I managed my first log jump, just perfect on a climb. It's just all timing. Like it was effortless. When you do it right, it's beautiful. I get your point. <laughs> Shit, I was just going to say, he did a great job. Hold it, hold Good choice. Good choice. Good choice, yeah, it worked. Even with us in the way. <laughs> Shit. But what I do really like about these bikes is the fact that you can do this and, you know, take a, a huge trip to get there yeah like you could ride to Moab and then ride Moab yeah he, he couldn't see at all so a little sandy down here yeah yeah Mexico Baja was a there was a lot of really soft sand riding tons of it you gotta you know it you ought to be on guard all the time yeah Left. Yes, but it's cold, man. I yeah, it's got a chill in it. I'm still breaking a bit of a sweat, so I'm not too bad. Well, I'm. I was a bit chilly there on the highway, but I'm okay now. I just I should have left that layer on. Michael dislikes to ride. He's yeah. Oh, he stopped up here. He's an architect, eh? Oh, is he? Yeah. He showed me a couple of his buildings on a laptop there. He's done some pretty interesting stuff. Like, you know, different artistic stuff. Nice. Yeah. He looks artsy. Yeah. Isn't you know, it? like, just kind of that independent uh, thought process kind of guy. Well, it worked out for me. I, I, so I how, did, did you, how did you know him? I don't. Oh, the the KTM put us together. I didn't have any uh, other than when they made the team, they suggested that we get in contact with each other, and make sure that we were all had similar skills. Yeah. You know, as a team, right? Yep. Definitely cooler today. Oh shit! Seven and a half degrees, and they were climbing. Oh, that's a photographer. Thank you. Oh. Sure. It's all trade-offs though, right? Like you gotta kinda build the bike to what you're gonna do 90% of the time. And well, you, you wanna kinda hop it up for that other 10% as well. Right, cause it's hard to yeah. say, okay, like, yeah, if I, if I was going to ride this all the time, I'd be doing a dirt bike. I wouldn't be doing an adventure bike. But I want to be able to go from the highway to do this to, you know, take my kid to... It's uh, Quentin out front. And on the radio. Take a right. Where's Michael? Oh, he was there, not too far long ago. Oh, hold, hold back then, just so he knows he doesn't go shooting past. Okay. Is he there? Yep.
Whoa! Put a for sale sign on it then. <laughs> Good one, that's right. We should be able to spin her. Chris would be proud of you. I'm gonna trade gloves here. I'm here. <coughs> All right, you're up there, Michael. You got it. That guy before him did good. Yeah, I think that was Chris. Oh, that fucked me a little funny, but that's alright, made it. Did you get some power onto it? Yeah. Well, no, I flipped it just before, but it still kind of fucked the bike sideways a little bit. I didn't even slow down, so that's probably why. Should have got it a better angle. Now this is where my gear works, in the cold. Yes. Yeah. I just overheat a little bit in the, in the, in the, in the hard working stuff. Yeah, that's why I didn't wear my touring stuff, it's just, I find it a little loose, I like this, I feel a little safer in this stuff. Another little. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the weather's rolling in, man. Oh, start, here it comes the rain. rain here, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's going to rain that hard. I doubt it. But we're up the mountain, so it's possible. 